Dennis Bellini of Rock Petroleum in Big Earth, Saskatchewan has over 25 years of experience as an agronomist, always looking for ways to help grain farmers become more profitable. In order to harvest more grain, you need a reliable weed control program, which for many farmers means using a considerable volume of glyphosate. This can lead to some headaches, but Bellini came up with a solution during a memorable harvest. About three in the morning on a combine, uh, after two days of real long nights harvesting, uh, the idea popped into my head that, that uh, we need to come up with a better way, uh, a different mousetrap for, for, uh, for handling uh, all this product. He named his bulk handling system the Racketeer, and each container holds over 2,200 U.S. gallons of glyphosate. One of his main concerns was designing a system that protects the environment. So we designed this tank to uh, exceed any environmental regulations that might be required for bulk herbicide on farm. Uh, that means that this shell is made out of uh, uh, 3 16 metal and actually could be approved to store sulfuric acid uh, in the way it's made. Uh, so it's a containment vessel. So uh, if you're storing uh, commercially fuel or sulfuric acid, proper containment means if the inner, if the, the actual storage shell, this green uh, tub, was to break, that it would be break inside of this shell and contain the, the spillage. The system includes a three horsepower magnetic drive pump, which is well suited for working with chemicals in that it creates its own suction. So it's a self-priming uh, pump that sucks the product up and out. Uh, this pump uh, then can pump it into, uh, into, the, uh, into this uh, line, which would be used by the farm customer to fill his sprayer or his storage unit on his uh, sprayer delivery water truck. A metering system on the Racketeer allows farmers to keep track of how much glyphosate they are using. There's also a, uh, a one-way valve here so he can't accidentally have product flow back into the tank so that maintains the integrity of the product. When the tank's delivered uh, to the customer also, uh, there are seals placed on every fitting and, uh, and the access to the interior of the tank, uh, only Rack has access to the tank. That way we can guarantee uh, integrity of the product that it hasn't been contaminated or anything else. And those seals verify that the product is uh, intact and hasn't been tampered with. Rack Petroleum leases these tanks to farmers for $10 each per year and they aren't obliged to keep them any longer than that. Because we want to be more efficient and deliver large quantities at once, the compromise is, we, the customers don't necessarily want to use it all at once. The compromise is, look, take the tank, it's secure, uh, pay for it as you use it. And that's been a very popular portion of the program as well because the farm customer can uh, lock in his glyphosate price right now for next year, number one. Number two, he can save cash flow to buy other things for his farm and he can pay for it as he uses it. Blaney says before the Racketeer system, most farmers purchased their glyphosate in pods, with some requiring up to 40 pods per year, making it much more time consuming. So if they're not using the Racketeer system, what they have to do is go look for a good price on their glyphosate, number one, but number two, when they have to lay out the cash, they have to pay about a six to $800 cash deposit on the container. So they tie up that money for a year until they actually get the pod empty and return. Uh, so the convenience or the cost to the farmer is he has to number one, either pick up the pods from his local dealer and haul them back to the farm and use them, or he probably has to return the empty pods at some time when he's done with them. The Racketeer system is similar to bulk fuel delivery, which is another part of the Rack Petroleum operation. Bellini says farmers need access to 220 volt power in order to run the powerful glyphosate pumping system. 